You guys asked for it, sea trials on a 23 foot V bottom skiff. Believe me, I'm not going to waste any time fooling around at low speed. We're going to get it moving and see exactly how it handles. This is an action toy right here. You get to enjoy something like this, moving. I'm gonna see if everybody's right or if everybody's wrong, whether or not it's got enough power with 115 horsepower on it. It's meant to use and use hard. And uh, it's exciting, it really is to drive it. You know, you're holding on, there could be all kinds of things done to the skiff. Right now, it's just totally open. I'm holding a line to keep myself in the boat. And uh, it's pretty sporty. You know, you have to be kind of careful and know what you're doing because ever, you, you could end up outside the boat in the water if you weren't careful. It goes that well. I don't think anybody's going to use the boat just like I'm using the boat right now. I've decided that I would put it right through its paces so we'd know exactly how it handles at any speed. I notice immediately that it does ride very, very nicely because sometimes in this little bit of a chop, like in a flat bottom skip, you'll really feel it pounding. But this thing, <laughs> it just rides like an absolute dream. Even out of the harbor, it ran nice. It's a little bit heavier chop out there. You know, nothing radical, but pretty much simulates what goes on in the lakes where this boat is going up to 10,000 lakes. Look how nice the paint looks. I just love the white against the red and the varnish, all of it. We have to thank Total Boat. You know, we love their products. They've been with us right from the beginning. It's just been a great relationship. It's great to be on the Total Boat team. This is something that's not only been a dream of mine, this has been a dream of many, many people that asked me whether or not I could build a V-bottom skiff as many as 20 years ago. So here it is right here. It's pretty satisfying for myself. It's got the vertical frames like a skiff. It's got the cross plank bottom or sole in this case. It's got a nice traditional shear to it. I think going along, people will admire this boat quite a bit when they see it. Look at how the bow slices the water. It's just great, and it hardly makes any spray whatsoever. You can feel the boat in the helm in a boat like this. It doesn't want to pull to one side, or what we used to call dive, which was dangerous, like with one chine up and the other down. It doesn't do anything like that. It fights back because it's got nice weight to it, and uh, it smooths it out. That weight smooths it out. I can tell you just by driving this boat, this thing will handle a half a dozen people like nothing. It's just something that I'm proud of. It's been great having you guys along with us on this build. I don't think it'd be as much fun for me building it in some dark alley, so it's been great. I, I like spreading my knowledge about boat work around because it should happen. It should be spread everywhere. I know that the comments say that I inspire other people, and I guess that's true, but they inspire me because, you know, without their interest and without their support, I wouldn't be able to do this kinds of things right here. Some people have some great suggestions and all kinds of different things. You know, I take advice. I take advice from the audience, from other builders, you know, things I've learned over the year. I don't think you can actually learn anything without taking some advice. So, you know, this, this kind of stuff has come a little bit before me and uh, I just fit the program. Sea trials are a great time. And it hasn't disappointed me one single bit at high speed, low speed, turning, the way it rides, the way it looks in the water. It's got me going. I wish it was mine at this point. I really do. We're moving on to a much bigger boat here shortly, much bigger. We're going on to building Orca next. 
We're going to go out on the floor and get going. If anybody wants to be involved in this project, you know exactly how to go about it. You can go on our website and look at all the stuff we've been looking for. I would lash myself down if I was you because this is really going to be exciting. Doing a replica of Orca.